Hi, host Eric here. Let's talk about famous people. I'm making this video to pull myself out of my rage fantasy. Um, and I am shaking right now with adrenaline because of this rage fantasy I've been indulging in. Specifically, I have these periodically. And it involves, like, the government messing with me in some way and me fighting them um, in this particular rage fantasy it involved the IRS and me going in and just just condemning the individual human being who is going to be trying to fuck with me at some point <laughs> assuredly guaranteed um, and going to war with him and just eviscerating him. Um, this is what is in my mind. When I'm sitting here, I'm not doing anything, I'm listening to a song, and I just start going into this rage fantasy. Why do I do that? Is this an ENTP thing or is it an Eric thing? I don't know. I mean, my rage fantasies don't only sometimes involve violence. Sometimes they do. And usually that's after I read something where a cop did something terrible and beat somebody up and stuff. And then I have these little fantasies of how do you like it, you know? It's ridiculous. It's not, it can't possibly be healthy. Uh, and I don't like to use that word, but really, it cannot be healthy. And I'm shaking. I am shaking from the from the argument I just had with the IRS guy um, that didn't ever actually exist. Now, what's really interesting, and I'm going to, after this video, I'm going to try to find something. I'm going to read parts of them out loud and uh, talk about them a little bit. If you want to read the coolest stuff on personality, in my mind, you got to read Sissionic shit translated from the Russian. It's great. It's so amazingly spot on. In certain ways, it's just fucking strikingly brilliant. And uh, one of the things it says is that the big secret of ENTPs is that they have this incredibly rich fantasy life in which everything goes right for them and which is almost as important as real life to them. And sometimes they'll get them confused and talk about stuff that, that they didn't actually do that was in their fantasy life. That's true. That's right on the money. <laughs> so right on the money. Like, basically, when we're not thinking about something like a model, or we're not talking, we're pretending. I don't know what to tell you about it. <laughs> it's what it is. ENTP likes to pretend. I've always liked to pretend <laughs> a great deal. I've always liked to pretend. I'm pretending now, almost. You know, it's like I'm pretending I'm I'm pretending I'm host Eric, and it's way more fun than being regular Eric. You know. Looks like Compton got locked outside. I'm gonna have to go let her in. Kitty Meow and Compton have this ongoing uh, play battle where Kitty goes and gets Compton to chase her and then, you know, climbs up on something high and then punches Compton in the face with her pop. <laughs> and then, uh,. But it's, they're very nice to each other. They don't ever uh, 
get too rough. Compton occasionally will successfully tackle Kitty. And then Kitty will be like, meow, meow. And then Lacey will run over and bark at them both. So, <laughs> anyway, have a good day. That's real, not pretend.